hi guys. <clears throat> been a little while since I've been in my shed. I know you're going to say Speed Fight 3. <laughs> but this one runs. This one is more mechanical and serviceable, really. Um, sorry about the cable. Um, it's been down the road. It's missing the end bit on here. I just want you to see this. This is a rear shock. Okay, watch. Can you see it stand down? It, it shouldn't do that, okay? And what that is... One shock absorber. Now this is a Speed Fight 2 shock absorber. They are 260, 70mm. Um, these ones are 295, 300mm. Um, am I going to put this one on it? Yes, I am. And am I going to cheat? Yes, I am. Okay, it's a jack-up kit. Okay, that will end up with extra 20 odd mil. It's the fact that Speed Fight 3 shock absorber is 40 quid. Speed Fight 2s are 20 odd pounds. You buy them on eBay for this with this. I just thought, oh, I've got it. It isn't going to impede or damage it or anything scary. It's just, I've got it, so I might as well use it. It always saves on the resale um, of having to buy in parts. And obviously, this one here, I've got one. Remember the 50cc's, um, the only ones are cable back brake. This again was sticky. Um, let me show you that. Chicken. Um, here it is here, the connection bit here. And all it was was sticky. So if I do this, you can see it moving. Can you see it moving in and out? WD-40. You know, good old WD-40. Give it a clean WD-40. That's what I was trying to say. The end is off here as well. Um, it can be an MOT failure. I've got a load in here. So I'll be able to swap that over. Um, this one, it runs, it starts, and then the rev start just riding up, riding up, riding up. Um, could be the cable need a little bit. Personally, it's the bucket air. It's simple as that. Um, the paintwork on this is not brilliant. I'm going to tidy that up a little bit and get this one running so it's happier. It's only got 6,800 miles on the clock on this one. It's a 2013 plate, so uh, two and a half years old this is. Um, it's not been abused too much. I don't know why someone took these off of here. They should be the um, little rear pegs that are on bikes. Um, I've got some, I'll put some back. Maybe the previous owner was worried about their son or daughter taking two on it and they took them off. I don't know, but I'll put them back. I'll give the air filter a clean. Um, Kickstart on this one. Can you hear that? Okay, that is coming off, spraying up. Um, good old WD, basically. Um, if it doesn't do it, take it off. I'm assuming it's been out in the rain. Um, it's had three owners. One last owner didn't even ride it. Um, I'm assuming um, they didn't ride it because it starts lovely. Uh, Two thousand revs, three, four, five, five thousand revs. That would be quite scary for anybody to ride because it will just hammer down the road and you rely on your brakes, you stop, and it will go again. So basically, it's like having a throttle full open. Dangerous, he knew it did it, didn't tell me. Um, and I suppose that's why I'm happy to have it if I'm honest with you because I wouldn't sell a bike that does that. Um, so there we go. Little 2013 model tyres are good on this one. Um, I have no idea why he's put black here. Uh, it petrol or I'll scrape it off. And he sprayed it. Um, not a million, that's, that's not scary. It's not scary. Um, I might see if it polishes up. If not, I will respray the whole bike white. Um, I think it looked nice in white. I've got some nice decals as well I recently bought. Um, here. Um, they're quite nice decals and they should look nice on it. The seat catch doesn't work on this either. And that's generally just you can adjust this height bit here and it could be jammed, anything like that. So basically this is just a nice service rear shock absorber. I mean, it doesn't need an MOT, it's still got six months on it. Would I set it like it? No, I wouldn't. Um, you're going to go over a pothole, and that's going to really hurt. That's going to bounce you something rotten, that is. So, you know, I think you can see if I do this. You can see the shock absorber. Can you see it coming up? And then watch. See it staying down? That shouldn't stay down. That should raise all the way up there. So that's the damp. That doesn't often happen. The dampener normally goes, and what you end up with is a spring. I've shown other videos. Check out my videos, by the way, on speed fights. Mainly twos, some threes. But what that is, is normally where the, um, the dampener goes in it, and you just get the shock, and you get that bang, and you bounce up and down like a boat. That's unusual to the lock in it there. Um, you can't free it up. Once it's gone, it's gone. It's either lost all its oil in there, um, hydraulic fluid, 
or something's gritted in there or something other, but it's a throwaway. You cannot use it like that. Front's fine on these um, for a 13 plate, should be. Um, I would say maybe a huge fat person, but it wouldn't have done that. I don't know. Uh, otherwise, from that, it's not in bad condition. So these little bikes have um, pads on the back. Sorry, pads on the front. Disc brakes on the front. I'll get it right in a minute. And drum brakes on the back. That's brakes. Um, the RS model has disc back and front. So that's, that's probably better. But I'll soon have that working fine. And uh, this should be going. And I'll show another video of it starting and running. I mean, it does start now. I could easily actually do that. There we go. Little dash. Yeah, you can see it's high revs, low revs. Yeah, it just needs a service. I'll change the plug and uh, wash the filter and uh, get going. I'm just happy it's running. Normally these don't run and it's well to pain. I like that one. Anyway, check out my videos. I'll put a, a bit on the end of it. Well, you hear it starting. There's no sense of counting this one. It will start. And the shock and little bits and bobs. Unless it looks really immaculate and I've changed the whole colour, I'll add a bit to it. Otherwise, check out my videos, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.